All right, so we had a windy, cold day here in March. Uh, good day to run the dogs, though. It, the leaves were good and wet from the rain all day yesterday, and I was excited to get in the dogs in the woods because of it. I knew they could move around a little more quiet, had a better chance of slipping up on squirrels. And started out with Garrett being a started dog. I wanted him to have first dibs. Uh, it was a little more windy than I liked, but that's okay. I put him online to where he'd be running into the wind to give him a better chance of smelling things, and uh, we started walking. and. He hunted close at first, making short circles, scanning a lot with his eyes. Uh, and then he started ranging out a little bit, ran down the hill quite a ways, uh, watched him do some hunting. And yeah, as we were walking, I saw him run through an area about a hundred yards up in front of me. And that, you know, one thing I like to do is I like to stay close to my new dogs, my young dogs that are starting and figuring the game out. I like to be able to respond quickly to the tree when they do tree to help them put something together. And, uh, so I was staying pretty close to him. When he went through an area, I saw a squirrel jump up on a, around the backside of a tree and run up to the, to the tree top. And I could see he was still sitting there. And I was, I was thinking, man, I need to position myself where when he checks back in, I need to get over there by that tree. So he cuts the smell of where that squirrel was and just see if I can watch him put this squirrel together. And just as I started moving to do that, I saw him come through the area and he came through the area right downwind of that tree. And it was pretty cool watching his nose instantly go up to the air. He definitely winded that squirrel. Got to watch him put it together. Got to watch him get on tree and bark. The squirrel take off running. I believe I got that on film. Should be on this. But it was really cool watching a young dog use his eyes a lot and then also seeing that he's going to wind them. So that's a lot of good potential I like for... Uh, for our future together, you know, we'll see. Um, still just still just training, still a young dog, still just getting his starting. Um, wish I could shoot him out now, but I can't. I still gotta wait till middle of May before I could start shooting him for him. But he's, so far I really like what I see. He hunted hard after that. Um, kinda got around another area where one was running around on the ground, barked a little bit, but he never did put it together. So I didn't wanna encourage him or anything like that. And we, I just let him run. Let him hunt, tried to stay close, watched him run around. He was definitely running and hunting, but as we were hunting, the wind was picking up more and more. And uh, I, don't, I don't know, we might have blown the squirrels out when we were barking, but we didn't really get much more action after that. So I brought him back to the car, put him up, got my finished dog out, tried to walk him to a different area. I, I wanted to at least let him have a chance of getting on some squirrels. And he ranged out good, hunted good. I was watching him on the Garmin, and I saw he was hanging up in this one area about a few hundred yards away so i booked it up there and i just kind of watched him and filmed him and he was at the base of this big den tree actually it's on the video right now and he was running around that area smelling a lot uh, but he never really did put together the track hard he just did a lot of sniffing here and there here and there and again i i like to let a dog work i don't like to interfere i mean he knows what he's doing he's a finished dog couldn't quite see why he was having such a hard time putting that together, So, but I just decided to stay back and let him do his thing, let him learn whatever he was learning. And, you know, when I walked up close to the tree, he went back and checked it a few times, and then he kind of got hard on it and whined a little bit and barked, but he ran right out to me after that, kind of like he was leaning on me to finish put it together. I didn't like that, so I, uh, I told him no, and I called him off, and we went a little further, and he kind of was doing the same thing this morning. Or after that, he was just, just hitting some uh, some older tracks, following them tree to tree. Again, I just let him sniff, let him put it together. He never really struck anything hard, he never really treed hard. He hunted. I mean, he ran around and he hunted for a good 20 minutes. But again, with him, right now, it's more about just getting him back into shape. Uh, I didn't really hunt him much this fall. And I, by May 15th, I want him in good shape. So he ranged out. And if he had run into good anything, boy. no doubt about it, he would have put it up a tree. But... Not much, uh, not much going on from his end, but either way, it was a, uh, it was a good day. It was a good, uh, it was a good morning run. Uh, let them dogs work, let them do their thing and just, just be there in case you need to ease them into some guidance.